Hey guys, it's Stephanie Fit from FitBodies.com, two T's. I want to show you today how I sprout broccoli seeds, something my brother turned me on to, but I had heard when I got my cancer diagnosis years back um, that broccoli seeds contain compounds that are really beneficial to fighting cancer, especially the breast cancer that I'm dealing with. So. Anyway, anything I can do to keep my body strong and, and fighting and keeping that cancer away, I'm gonna try. So whether you're healthy or you've got an illness or cancer or whatever, this might be something that you can try. It's pretty simple. So what you need are some ball jars and these lids with um, these screens. Now I just went ahead and purchased this on Amazon. You can you can search on Amazon um, broccoli sprout or sprout, not even just broccoli, because you can sprout all kinds of different seeds. Um, but just search sprouting supplies or something like that. And um, anyway, when I searched, I found the this and it's working well. So it's ball jars with a mesh insert and then a screw top lid. Um, also, you want stands. I got, um, I, I don't like plastic. You guys know I don't like plastic. But um, this looked the most sturdy uh, compared to what was offered when I did the search. So this is what I have. Um, and you also need the seeds. And um, these were also found on Amazon, but you could go to your local natural foods grocer and find them there as well. Um, these are broccoli seeds, but like I said, you can sprout anything, alfalfa, um, be different kinds of beans and whatever. I haven't tried that yet. I'm just doing the broccoli because I know it's super healthy um, with those compounds that are anti-cancer that are really exciting. So, uh, plus they're delicious, holy smokes. So this is how I do it. It's this simple. Measuring spoon. I take, it says on this label, um, one to four tablespoons of dry seeds and so I just cut I just do two I split the difference I've tried more and I've tried less and, and two seems to work for me and my jars the seeds just look like this can you see that they look like mustard seeds actually so there's one oh, I need to reorder because I'm running out of seeds and two and then I'm going to um, fill with water about to here because I want to soak it. So hold that thought. Let's reach over here. Hello. How's it going today? Okay. So just enough water to cover the seeds. And then I soak this all day or overnight. And then um, once I've done that, once they've soaked all day or overnight, then I'm going to tip it over upside down and I'm going to drain all the water out and I'm going to store it upside down in this. And so let me show you kind of for a visual. It's easier to see here. Here are some sprouts that have actually sprouted. See that? And here's the holder and it sets in like this. Can you see that? Like this. So it drains, the water drains out, so it's not sitting in water because that would kind of make it slimy and, and yucky and maybe rot it a little bit. So this keeps the seeds fresh. I water, once, once um, I dump out, okay, soak the seeds, dump it out, tip them upside down, and then every morning and every night, I add water and I dump it to rinse and then sit it again. So you wanna water your sprouts twice a day. I do it morning and night. And then depending on the sunlight in your in your kitchen and depending on the temperature and so forth, it might take um, up to a week or longer or shorter to sprout. Now these are about ready for me to eat. You can kind of see, see how they're long and stringy and there's a little bit of seed there, but most of them have sprouted. So I'll probably water this um, one last time this evening and then I'll put it in my fridge. I transfer the stuff to a glass container and put it in my fridge so that I can eat it on my salads, put it in my shakes and my smoothies. Sometimes I just eat it from the dish. It's delicious, a little bit peppery flavor. And then I clean this out and I start an soaking another set of seeds 
So because I have two, I can continually have sprouts available in my fridge at all times to be eating. And I try to eat sprouts once a day, at least once a day. Sometimes I have it twice. Yeah, like I said, salads, smoothies, sandwiches, and so forth. So um, super healthy way to get those cancer-fighting compounds, those antioxidants um, into your body. And it kind of makes you feel productive to see something grow in your kitchen. And um, it's inexpensive and super fun. I hope this helps. Comment below. Let me know if you've sprouted anything and um, your experience with it. And um, go um, somewhere. You're going to be able to click and go to my uh, website. And there's some free stuff there for you. And um, please subscribe and share and um, stay tuned because I got more stuff coming. I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace out, everybody.